The principle of the fuel cell was discovered by a German scientist, Christian Friedrich Schönbein, in 1838, and published in the January 1839 edition of the Philosophical Magazine. Based on this work, the first fuel cell was developed by a Welsh scientist, Sir William Robert Grove, one year later. The fuel cell he made used similar materials to today's phosphoric acid fuel cell. He called his work the gas battery. In 1955, the General Electric Company produced the grubb Nidrock fuel cell. GE went on to develop this technology with NASA, leading it to being used on the Gemini space project. This was the first commercial use of a fuel cell. In 1959, the world's first fuel cell tractor was displayed across the U.S. at state fairs, and in that same year came the demonstration of a practical 5 kilowatt cell capable of powering a welding machine. UTC Power was the first company to manufacture and commercialize a large stationary fuel cell system for use as a cogeneration power plant in hospitals, universities, and large office buildings. The company also continues to be the sole supplier of fuel cells to NASA for use in space vehicles, having already supplied the Apollo missions and currently the space shuttle program. In 1994, the company was contracted by Georgetown to develop a 100 kilowatt fuel cell for transit bus use. The fuel cell developed for the first generation 2 bus was a derivative of the successful Pure Cell 200. Bringing the fuel cell to the consumer has proven a long road coming. But now that it is viewed as a potential solution in the search for an alternative energy, the future is on the horizon. Fuel cell technologies are an attractive alternative to oil dependency. Fuel cells give off no pollution, and in fact produce pure water as a byproduct. They also prove to be quite more efficient than your standard diesel powered vehicle. Fuel cells just may be the answer to our power problems. But first, scientists will have to sort out a few major issues. Chief among the problems associated with fuel cells is how expensive they are. Many of the component pieces of fuel cells are costly. In order to be competitively priced, compared to gasoline-powered vehicles, fuel cell systems must cost $35 per kilowatt. Currently, the projected high-volume production price is $110 per kilowatt. Another fuel cell design issue is temperature management. The same temperature must be maintained throughout the cell in order to prevent destruction of the cell through thermal loading. This is particularly challenging due to the fact that the reaction that creates the energy is highly exothermic. <laughs> 